guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. There is a really fun tag that my friend Lena posted, and she didn't actually create the tag, Amber F created the tag, but Lena did the tag, and I saw the tag, and she said she tags everyone. So this is probably the fastest I have ever seen a tag, done a tag, and then posted the tag in response. So Lena, I must have really liked this tag, and Amber F, thank you for creating a really fun tag. So this is the nailed it tag. So I will have all the questions linked down below and yeah, let's just hop right in. So first thing, let me just say, I have an obscene amount of nail polish. Nobody needs as much nail polish and my nails are chipped right now. So don't pay any attention to that. And I did a video last week and someone asked me what color my nail polish was and it is called I Read a Good Book and it's by Wet n Wild in the Mega Last Collection. It's in a bottle that looks like this and it's called I read a good book. I don't have the bottle sitting right here in front of me right now. All this nail polish sitting here in front of me. I don't have that bottle sitting in front of me. But I read a good book. The very first question is what color family of nail polishes do you own the most of? So this is just a little sample of some of my nail polishes. I have another nail polish box on the floor, which I'll put a picture in right now, that shows all the other bottles of my nail polish. I probably have like 150 bottles of nail polish at least no joke like I said it's shameful I don't condone this I don't condone this addiction but um, even just by glancing at this you can see that my most you know popular family of colors is going to be these like pinky peachy um, ready kind of colors that's what I have the most of in sort of varying assorted shades of red and there's way more pink in that box on the floor Way. I'm not even gonna count how many bottles there is but pink red peach shrimp colored everything in between number two says name your most favorite memory associated with a specific polish so I'm gonna have to say probably when I was a little kid I my mom always painted her nails like, she paints them every week religiously still. She'll stick with one color. She's got like two colors of nail polish. She'll pick one color and just keep using that up until it's gone, whereas I switch all the time. But uh, yeah, when I was little, I really wanted to polish my nails. And my dad was like, no, I don't want the girls, me and my sister, to have um, painted nails. It just doesn't look right on little girls. So he never wanted us to polish our nails. So my mom, got us clear polish and I would think that it was so awesome because we would get to polish our nails too and they would just be like shiny and pretty and we were little girls we didn't really need to have you know like fire engine red fingernails but I always wanted to paint my fingernails and the very first you know instances of me being able to polish my nails was just like clear polish or like a super super faint pink like see-through pink um, just so that we could be able to do it so I love that my mom did that for me when I was super little and she kind of, you know, stepped it out. She was just like, forget it. My girls are painting their nails. So, um, yeah, that's probably my favorite memory of nail polish. Number three is what is your best kept secret for chip free polish? So I feel like I have a couple things. So I've had this on for a week now. That's that hand. And this is my dominant hand. So you can see this nail is the one that's the most chipped, but having it on for a week, not bad, right? Not so bad. So I'm not like an expert manicurist. My fingers are not perfect, but I just do the best I can. Um, so I always take off my nail polish with acetone and I know that's not the greatest for your nails, but I feel like it gets all the oils off of my nail beds or you can use rubbing alcohol before you polish on. Um, secondly, I always, always, always put a base coat on and my absolute favorite base coat is the Julep base coat, which I don't have in front of me. Hang on, and I'm back. So the Julep base coat looks like this. Julep is like an online company. I think they actually now sell Julep at Sephora. Uh, you can see how well loved this bottle is. Um, so I actually used up all this Julep base coat and then I refilled it with um, what I had left of my Essie Rock Solid base coat, which they don't make anymore, which I love, love, love that one too. So um, Julep base coat. This thing is like, I'm going to say between $16 and $20 for this teeny tiny little bottle. It's amazing. I swear by it. This is my favorite base coat. And I have tried the Orally Bonder one. It's like got an orangey tint to it. My nail polish peeled off like right away with that one. So 
did not work for me. By the way, here's my Wet n Wild, I read a good book, which is what I have on my nails. Read a good book. Wet n Wild polishes is my other tip. These Wet n Wild Mega Lasts on me last like a week. The colors are beautiful, and this is actually just one coat on my nails. The final tip that I have for making your polish last is using a really good top coat. So my absolute favorite top coat is the Sachet Vite top coat. You can see I've made some serious progress in this. I have multiple bottles of this laying around. I don't know where the other ones are right now, but I have multiple bottles of this because it is amazing. It does get gloopy as you use it, but there is a Sesh Restore to put the like, you know, horrible chemicals in it back into it so it'll make it smooth but there's that and then I also um, this manicure that I did last week I use the NYC uh, Grand Central Station fast dry top coat this is like $1.99 at the store as well Sachet Vite's about $9 so it's expensive and it's really chemically this is less chemically and it's $1.99 and it works pretty well but not as well as Sachet Vite question number four is which brand do you own the most colors from uh, and what is and why is it your favorite formula? So I just totally said that it is these wet n wild mega last polishes. They are $1.99. I love the brush on them. I love their opacity. It's got one of those like wider brushes on it. Um, they go on super amazingly smooth. I don't really ever have like streaking issues with them. My favorite colors with that are Heat Wave. It's kind of like an orangey one. I love Club Havana, which is more peachy. I love, I read a good book, which is what I'm wearing now. Um, there's also one called Tropicalia. That one is actually probably my most reached for polish by them, and I don't know where it's at right now. And then um, for a fun, like gray color, there's Wet Cement. And then there's, um, I need a refreshment, which is a dupe for, for Audrey. Uh, I just love them. I love them. If you haven't tried them, try them. And right now, I know that they're coming out with a fall limited edition matte collection, and the polishes look beautiful from the Wet n Wild Mega Last collection, and I will get them. So the polish that I like least in my collection, honestly, are these Maybelline Color Show polishes. And I gave away most of them, but I did not give away this Sapphire Siren. I thought it was just a really beautiful navy blue color. Um, I haven't given it away because, like I said, I like the navy blue color. I'm just not a fan of the color show polishes on my nails. For me, they just don't stay. I love that they're a really great deal. They're in the like 2 to $3 range for a polish. They have amazing selections of colors. I've tried multiple different shades, and they just chip on me really quickly. Um, the other formula that I'm like not the biggest fan of is Butter London. Where is it? Oh, Nail Teeny. I don't really like Nail Teeny. I wasn't as impressed with Butter Linden as I thought I would be, but I think I like Nail Teeny even less, and then I like the color polishes even less than that, unfortunately, and I really wanted to like them. Number six is name your holy grail nail polish remover, just straight up 100% acetone. It does not get better than that. I try to use any other kind of nail polish remover now, and I get so frustrated because I'm just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, and it doesn't come off, and then you up with polish on your skin, and it's horrible. 100% acetone, I can't go back. I can't. Number seven is if you use glitter or nail effects, what is your favorite brand? So my favorite brand is probably gonna be OPI for glitter. Um, I do like these Nicole by OPI polishes, the gumdrop collections. This one's called Candy is Dandy. And there's an, <coughs> oh man, the cough is killing me today. Then there is My Cherry Amour. It's another glittery kind of one. But um, yeah, OPI I think has some really beautiful glitters. My favorite glitter top coat of all time came from the original Muppets collection. It's by OPI and it's called Rainbow Connection and it's just all the different colors. Um, and then the very last one is this Topshop nail polish. I was on a hunt, like a mad hunt for a true holographic nail polish. Can you see that? That is so bleeping beautiful. Oh my god, I use this one on um, an accent nail all the time, but it is legitimately a true holographic nail polish. It is not chunky weird glitter. It's just straight up like you put hologram, holographic, not a hologram, holographic polish on your nail. This was about $10. I bought it at Nordstrom's. Kind of expensive for a nail polish because I'm a bargain hunter, but I could not pass this up because it is breathtaking. If you're looking for holographic polish, 
this is it. Number eight is do you match your toes to your fingers when you repolish? And the answer is usually not. I usually have different polish on my fingers and my toes, which is what is happening right now. What do I have on my toes? I don't even know what that is on my toes anymore right now. It's a pink polish and then I have red polish on my nails, but I don't normally match them. Then number nine says name specific polishes you've repurchased more than twice to show us your holy grail colors. So specific polishes I've repurchased the Sachet V top coat. Um, I have a couple polishes. Hmm. I don't know. I have so many nail polishes. It, there's, I just don't go through them that quickly, but let me see. I know for sure I have multiple bottles of a couple of these colors of Wet n Wild because I've gone like halfway and then bought another one or been given another one. So those would be the ones that I have multiples of. Number 10, do you paint accent nails or use only one color? I do whatever I want. <laughs> I do both. Sometimes I do solid one colors. Sometimes I'll do an accent nail. Sometimes I'll do multiple accent nails. I usually paint all one color and then I'll do like my ring finger as my accent nail when I want to do an accent nail, but not always. And then number 11 is can you name the oldest polish in your collection? Let me look. I think the oldest bottle of nail polish I have is this one. This is a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extremer Polish in Blackout. I have actually used quite a bit of this. Um, and this was, I mean, this polish is, yeah, it's down to like here. Which is pretty good for a nail polish. Uh, it's really old, but it's probably my go-to black nail polish still, honestly. I don't own a ton of black nail polish. This is the one I go for. I've had it for a really long time, and I got this way before I even started YouTube, and I was just like, I am so sassy with black nail polish. Like, it's so chic. Um, yeah, so that's my black nail polish. And then the second oldest one I'm going to say is this one. It's an NYC in a minute. And I got this <clears throat> probably around the time that I started YouTube. And I just thought it was the most beautiful, entrancing purple color. And it dried so quick. I was just like, what have I been doing my whole life waiting for nail polish to dry? So, uh, yeah, it's a really a beautiful purple color. And again, this is like $1.99 because I'm a bargain shopper. So that is it for the Nailed It tag. I had so much fun with this one. I was so excited to be able to film this. Thank you, Amber F. again for creating it. And thanks, Lena, for posting it so I could jump in and do it. I probably should have caught it on Amber's channel, but I didn't. Um, anyway, I will have all the questions linked down below. I tag everyone, but especially Miley and Hannah and everyone else out there who's completely obsessed with nail polish like me. So yeah, enjoy. Anyways, love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button so we can hang out some more. If you want to go check me out on Twitter and Instagram, I have those links down below. I would love for you to come and say hi. Uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!